Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a mashup of some of our favorite crock pot meals. Stay tuned, these are great. Tonight for dinner, we are gonna take all of these ingredients and make a chicken cordon bleu soup in the crock pot. The first thing that I'm going to do is cut up all of the ingredients that need to be cut. So I am going to cut up several of these little baby carrots. I'm also gonna cut up about two stalks of celery. I'm also going to chop up two potatoes. I'm kind of going in between two different recipes that I found here. One of them is not intended for the crock pot. The other one is intended for the crock pot, but I liked some of the ingredients in another one. So I will have both of them posted in the description box so that you can see them. We have this boneless ham steak that I am going to cube. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my bay leaf, oregano, parsley, and crushed pepper. I have all of my chopped ingredients here. Now I'm gonna add in the different spices that we need. The first thing that I need is four cloves of garlic. I'm also adding one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. This is whole grain Dijon mustard, but I'm sure any other kind would be fine. This one is from Trader Joe's. I'm also gonna throw a bay leaf in here. I'm actually gonna put two in there because they're kind of small, but we will pull that out. You, we're not gonna eat the bay leaf, that's just for flavoring. I'm adding one teaspoon of dried parsley, half teaspoon of oregano, half teaspoon of thyme, Around a fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Really, this is just gonna add some heat, so you would add whatever you're comfortable with. Pouring all of this into my crock pot. I'm also adding this bone broth here. I made this, you, and I'm adding about five cups or so. If you don't have a bone broth, that's completely fine. Just use chicken broth. Now I'm gonna put the lid on, and I'm gonna cook this on high for about three hours. While that's cooking, I'm going to pull some meat here off of this rotisserie chicken. You guys know I love rotisserie chicken because it makes things so easy. So pick yourself up a rotisserie chicken and then you don't have to worry about cooking the chicken for this. So I'm just pulling off about two to three cups or so. When your soup has been cooking for in between three and four hours and you know the potatoes are soft and the carrots are soft and the celery is soft, go ahead and take your lid off and you are going to add in your chicken. In addition to the chicken, I'm gonna pour in two cups of half and half. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch here in this bowl. I'm gonna pull out some of my liquid and combine it here with this cornstarch and then pour all of that back into the bowl. And that's just gonna help thicken it up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna put my lid on and just let that cook for about another hour. Before I add the cheese, I'm gonna pull out the bay leaf, both of them. I'm adding four pieces of Swiss cheese. I'm gonna let this melt and then we will be ready to serve. Here is tonight's dinner. We've got the chicken cordon bleu soup and we are serving it with croutons on top. The slow cooker portion of this meal is going to be the side and we are making crock pot ranch potatoes. I have had this recipe saved for probably about a year and I keep forgetting to make these. They look so delicious. The recipe calls for three pounds of baby Dutch yellow potatoes. We're actually just gonna use these red potatoes because we're at the beach and I purchased 
these potatoes while we were here. I didn't wanna buy two different kinds. I think it's gonna be completely fine, but I'm just cubing these up. I am gonna use a crock pot liner just to make things easy to clean up later on. So I'm gonna use about six potatoes or so, maybe a little more. We'll look and see how much we have in there. And I am going to cut this up. I'm gonna cut them up into cubes. To our potatoes, I'm gonna add about a fourth cup of olive oil. Now at home, you guys know that we buy our ranch seasoning mix at Sam's Club, but here I just bought this one packet of dry ranch seasoning mix. We're gonna pour this all over the top. I'm adding about four cloves of garlic. I'm just using this minced garlic that you can get in your grocery store. And I'm gonna add some dried parsley to this. You can also add some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna use the cheater way to mix this stuff, or at least I call it the cheater way, where basically you just lift the bag out of the crock pot, mix it all together in the bag, and then put it back into the crock pot. I love these liner bags for that reason. It makes things so easy. So we're gonna cook this on low for about six hours. We're gonna head down to the beach and then our side will be ready when we come back up and we'll be ready to go making the rest of this meal. The rest of this meal is not crock pot, but the side is, and I know you guys are gonna love it. All right, these have been cooking for about, well, it's right at six hours actually. So it's been a, long, a little bit longer than I actually anticipated, but that's fine. I am going to set the lid kind of on the side and see if these will crisp up at all. All right, you guys, here is tonight's dinner. I am so excited about this. I am so excited to try these ranch potatoes. All right, friends, we really enjoyed these ranch potatoes 100%. I can see us making these again. Everybody loved these. Guys, we are making chicken bowls, and these are kind of like a Mediterranean chicken bowl. Everybody in our family loves this one, and it's one of my favorite recipes, so I'm gonna share that with you guys now. I'm starting with about six boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna add about two minced garlic cloves, a tablespoon and a half of oregano, and then a juice from a lemon. We're gonna cook this on low for about six hours, but up to eight hours is totally fine. While my chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prep all of my other ingredients that are gonna go in dinner tonight. So we are cutting up some tomatoes. I like these gourmet tomatoes because I think that they add really pretty color. I love all the different colors they have. And then some Kalamata olives as well. We are cutting these up and getting them ready to go. I'm also gonna make up a tzatziki sauce. This is one of our favorites. I'm shredding up the cucumber and I wanna make sure that we get all of the excess water out of it. I am gonna add about a teaspoon of salt, about one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, just plain Greek yogurt. You can use regular full-fat Greek yogurt. And then we're gonna add some garlic on top of that, about a tablespoon or so, about a third cup of olive oil. I also like to add in just a touch of white or red vinegar, about a teaspoon. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of chopped fresh dill, but we usually will add more than that because we love the taste of dill. All right, my chicken is almost done cooking. I've also got some rice over here in the rice maker and that's almost done and ready to go. We love serving this on top of rice. We've got all of our fixings ready to go. I've got feta cheese, I've got some avocado, some cucumbers, Kalamata olives, tomatoes, and then we also obviously have the tzatziki, which is the highlight of this meal. We love this stuff. The chicken is delicious, but I'm telling you guys, this is the perfect tzatziki recipe. Our verse this week comes from Psalm 3.3, but you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I hope you enjoyed these crock pot meals. Again, these are some of our favorites. So I wanted to make sure that they were shared over here on Feeding the Birds. If you're new here, I'd love if you would subscribe and stick around. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell and it will notify you whenever I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this, I definitely suggest checking out this video right here and you're gonna get more inspiration in the kitchen. I hope you're having a great week, bye.